Kai here from Dyer's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this card. Now I did this card for my colour creation because this is called Sahara Sand and we are getting to the pointy end of our um, colour creation for this year. This, you know, 2022-2023 um, um, main catalogue and so we do a, just a different project each week using these these colours. So this week it was Sahara Sand. This was um, a couple of weeks, I think, before this goes live. I can't remember exactly, um, but uh, I just thought I loved it and I wanted to show you how I made this, to me, very male card. I used this set inside for this moment is the start of something great and I used... You're a legendary, you are legendary on the front. So I'm going to show you what I used. So I used the legendary ride, and I love this set. Um, again, this is in the uh, mini catalog. I'm hoping it will go over to the main catalog um, in in uh, May. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed because I think this will sell absolutely gorgeous. And because Father's Day here in Australia isn't until September so you know it would be lovely to have this set around for you know for Father's Day as far as I'm concerned and this comes as a bundle if you haven't seen before um, I have done other videos using the dies here I do have a picture that I got from a lady named um, Penny Baha Beha, um, who set it out like this and I actually did a, a card a few weeks back um, the 26th of uh, February it was um, if you're looking on my YouTube videos that shows how to put how I put this to get the, the, the main um, die together anyway so we're only just going to be using you are legendary from this set I'm also using this set which is also from the mini catalog called greatest journey um, I've only used it a couple of times and that's for these cards I haven't used it for what it was intended for so I'm going to have to sit down and do something and this I'm using this moment is the the start of something great so they're the two start the sets that I'm using for making the, the um, what do you call it the um, stamping on it to make this um, uh, I embossed I've already which I've already done I'm using this embossing folder which is part of the uh, it's called metal plate 3d embossing folder um, this comes as part of the, the suite for the legendary ride um, it's a really lovely one and I just thought it was it gave a little bit of a, a texture to the front of that piece of the card so I've already and I've already done that when we come down to, to talking about the sizing so I've already done that piece there I'm also using this set called beautiful shapes which is in the main catalog and I'm using this this one here so you're going to need quite a few of them um, to do this shape here so we're going to use that piece um, I've already cut them all out so I will go through that but I just thought that they were fantastic and I'm going to use let me oh I can't even close up I'm using the circle the layering circles and I'm using the second size in the plain ones here so I'll leave that out because I'm going to need that because I can do that I have to do that with you so we'll pop that one over there this one I've done the rest okay so let's pop that there let's pop that over there so I don't lose it and let me show you what you need let's pop that card over on that corner there okay for the main card and I'm going to do it exactly the same as that one move out of the way so I can see you you're going to need a piece of card that is uh, 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 now I haven't got all these sizes written down so I'm going to have to go through them a little bit at a time with you then you're going to need two layers one for the inside and one for the out that measure 3 and 7 8 by 5 and 5 8 and then a white layer for the inside that measures 3 and 5 8 by 5 and 3 Eights, and the same for our front piece here that is the same as that one which is three and five eighths by five and three eighths you're going to need two pieces of card that measure 
three and that's about three and a half. So it should be three and five eighths, I think it is. Yeah, three and five eighths. I thought that was three and a five eighths. Uh, by one inch and one and another piece that is by three quarters of an inch. I have a piece of scrap here so I can show you exactly what I did. So, but I've already done that because it's a lot of fussy cutting. All right, so I'll show you how I did that in a minute. You need a piece of, of brown card here that measures half an inch by about four inches long. Yep. Um, then you'll need another piece of card, any colour will do for this piece which is about three and a half by three and a half and you'll need one, two, three, four, five, six white ones, hexagons and four black ones. So I've cut all of them out but we will do that bit together in a minute. And then for my saying here, I have a piece that measures um, three or well, four inches by one inch, and this will be three and three, three and a half by three quarters. Is that should I spin three and oh, three and three quarters? Sorry, Duh, not even thinking. Um, oh, I just I've, I've got it down here on the side. Let me just pick it up. Oh, you will need, I'm using the picker punch, then it's the banners picker punch, because I'm going to use this banner end. So I'm going to pop them on one side, and we will get stuck into this. Okay, let me pop this somewhere. I'm trying to find somewhere. Seems a bit crowded in here today. Okay, let's pop that one over there, and let's pop these over here out of the way. And we will score the main card on the long side at five and seven eighths of an inch. And that's the only bit of scoring we're doing. Don't forget we're using the small end. So we're going to cut that at five and seven eighths. And I'm going to just pop it on here like this. Because I find that sometimes it's nice just to make sure that it is directly lined up nicely. Okay, so that's that piece. We will actually glue our front panels on, both of them. Oh, got glue everywhere again. So I'm going to glue this panel onto the front of the card. This is the one that I actually popped through the... Um, embossing to pop that one onto there and we will then glue that onto the front of the card making sure I've got the card up the correct way yep I mean at this stage it doesn't really matter because you know if it's upside down there's nothing no writing on it for us to to get worried about so I'm gonna pop that one in there I'm also going to stamp this piece here and then we can pop this into the inside of the card. Alright, so I'm going to stamp my main saying in memento. And this says, this moment is the start of something great. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so that's that bit of stamping done there. And then I'm going to use... I've got Evening Evergreen here and this stamp for the grass actually comes from the um, Easter Bunny set, would you believe? I haven't got a piece of scrap here. Oh, here we go. Here's the scrap here. There we go. Alright, so I'll pop my grass down the bottom there and then I'll, oops, let's pop that out of the way. I've just got one of my mark and writing pen, uh, stamp, stamp and write pens. Um, this is in Garden Green and I'm just going to colour in my, 
grass pieces so that it looks like grass. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just to make it look more manly. For me it looks more manly. I wanted a real it's it's really hard to find nice men's cards. So I've been trying very hard this year to make a lot of men's cards for a change. Um, I've, I've found that it's been challenging and I've enjoyed being challenged to make them. So I'm just going to go right along the bottom here so that it's... I'm going to bring that back in again, my scrap piece of paper. So that I don't get it all over my bench top. My, I'm just going to go right along that bottom there. There we go. So that's that piece done. And we can pop that onto the inside of our card. So that's the inside of our card done. I've got a bit of a fluffy edge on there. I hate that, but... Oh well, if I didn't notice it before, then it really annoys me even more. Oops, come on. Don't you draw all over my thingy. Now I can still see a bit of the, the white along that bottom there. So I'm just going to go along here. Because it's the same colour as the card underneath, you're not going to notice it if it goes a little bit over. But I don't like that that little bit of a look there. There we go. Okay, so that's our main card done. We're then going to put our little piece of brown piece on here. About there will do. Okay. So... Again, this is optional. Um, I just think that he is like a goalpost. Um, so I'm just going to pop that onto the card about there like that. And it can just sit there and dry nicely. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I made these pieces. So I just got a piece of scrap here. And I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen. And I'm using it on top of a garden green here so that it shows. Now, I stamped this along in a row like so, leaving a gap at the bottom. And then I did another row underneath, as you can see in this one afterwards. All right. So then I just pop that out of the way for a minute. And then I just got my scissors and then I just trimmed these all the way along like so all the way along to give that grass look now you don't want to sit me see me sit here and do this all the way along this piece of card so that's that's how I got this look along the top so let's move them out of the way and we're going to stick this piece down flat on the bottom here along the bottom So this is our taller piece of the paper. This is the one inch piece. Oh, one, yeah, one inch piece. And I stamped and I popped that down flat on the bottom there, along that bottom line, like so. Okay, so that's going to sit there like that. This one here we're going to put onto dimensionals. So let me just pop the thing in here and we're going to pop some dimensionals along this one but we're not going to pop that on quite yet but we're just going to pop them on here so that they're ready and then we're going to make the ball whoops get in the middle I use the mini ones here because it's quite thin so and that's going to sit just in there like that but we're not doing that quite yet we're going to go onto the ball so this piece of card here, which is a three and a half by three and a half, that can be any colour you want. 
So we have six hex hexagonals in hex. Yes, uh, octagonals. I don't know. Um, in white and four in black. So we're going to start by gluing one black one into the middle of the card. Now the piece of card is this size only because it's easier to work with. It will, you probably could get away with a three by three, but it's just easier. Then we're going to pop white one here, just away from it. So just away from it, but lined up. And we're going to do that all the way around. So. I actually really enjoyed making this card before. It was just so, I couldn't believe how easy it was and yet how effective it looks. I guess if you want to do your ball off centered a bit, you know, so that there was more of the black or whatever, you could do that. There is no right or wrong, but well, you would have to work out what size you wanted to do that. So you could do it on a bigger piece of card and then move it around. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pop these in here. So we're going to cut these in half so that a point is at the top and the bottom. I'll come here. I cut them all, all the other three in half. The top and top, there, point at the top and the bottom. And then we're going to glue them onto this piece in here, like so. All the way around once again sorry this is something I know I'm not very good at doing the fast forward and you, so you're going to have to have to watch me or you're going to have to fast forward me if you want to I, I will not be offended in any way shape or form I need to learn more skills on my computer for doing that when I go away maybe I'll sit down and have a play in the evenings, while we're away in our caravan for two weeks. Okay, so we've got that on there. As I say, you can you can see that your piece of card is well big enough for this. So we're going to pop the pin in my glue, and then I'm going to bring in my um, circle and my mini. And we're going to pop him in here. So we're going to pop that on the bottom. Pop that piece of card on here. We're just going to be just a tiny bit too wide, so I'm going to actually cut that off a bit, which is not a big problem. But okay, so that sits on there, and we're going to pop this piece over the top so that it covers everything, all the ends like so. Once we've got that on there we can pop the other bit on top which is not my favourite job of doing and we will run this through the machine which is actually quite tight because of the fact that there's quite a few layers so I'm going to run it back and forth a few times. fantastic doesn't it so let's move this out of the way Ooh, make a lot of noise doesn't it pop that on the floor and there's our ball now to me that's just oh just
just fantastic. I love it. I love the way it's turned out. Did the back come off on one of them? No. All right, so then we're going to pop some dimensionals on our ball. Oh, that's not got any on there. So we're going to pop some dimensionals onto our ball. Like so. And for me, you, as you know, I don't like things that sag in the middle, so he's going to get one in the middle as well. And we'll pop our ball onto the front of our card. Oops, come on. Get in the rubbish bin. And I'm going to pop him on so that he's covering the bottom of this goalpost thingy here. About there, like so. And then this one... And I get things off. I've got no nails. My, all my fingernails all decided that it was time that they broke. So I cut the others off. I hate half and half, long and short. Now I'm going to pop that piece along here just so that the grass is over the top of the ball so that it looks like it's rolling in the grass. So that's that piece done. We're then going to do a bit of stamping here in black memento, which is the You Are Legendary, which I think it just goes just well with this one for the oops. Let's trust me to drop it on there. Um, just looks great on this piece of card. There we go. And then we're bring it out. Ooh, pick a punch. And I'm going to just pop that in there upside down so I can see that it's nice and even and not cutting off the words. Whoops. Let's pop them out of the way. And then we'll do the same with this one. And I'm just going to pop him up the other way because you see how that's gone in there wonky. Um, I can then make sure that it's gone in there nice and flat. And the same the other end. Turn it upside down and I can see that that needs to be moved just that little bit around to make sure that it's in the right spot. So let's get rid of that bit. And we can glue these two pieces together. My pin went and got jammed up the other day. So this is the glue. When you get warm days, the glue dries so quickly. It's not funny. Okay, so that's my saying on there. Put the glue in there because of the warm weather. Just turn that over and give it a squish down. Plus I'll put some dimensionals onto the back of this. Like so. way obviously and I'm going to pop this on an angle because it just it just works as far as I'm concerned now I do have some gems around here somewhere there we are these are the in colors for 2021 23 so I'm going to be using these lovely gems here and I'm going to put one large one with one small one at the top and then one large one at the bottom and that's our card I think it's gorgeous if you would like the rich tour for this card can you head over to my um, Facebook group called Die Stand for Stamping Crafting and Tutorials there you will find the written tutorial for this um, it's going to be called Soccer Ball Card um so that's what i'll be calling the the project um i will list everything that i've used uh, if you've got other dies if you don't have the stamping up ones these i measure across this section here they measure one inch i don't think you'd want to go any bigger than that you could go smaller but i wouldn't go any bigger than that I think it's just the right size to go on the, the card. It looks, stands out. So that's up to you. Um, oh, no, I've got a little mark. There we go. It's come off. Um, 
everything else is stamping up product well everything on here is stamping up products to, um, except for that little bit of brown there that was a bit I had laying around um, that one is but this one isn't um, so if you would like the wrench tour for this or you'd like any of these products that I have used feel free to give me a call if you, especially if you live in Australia I can help you with your purchase and if you'd like the wrench tutorial just head over to Dyer's Den you'll find the link down below here if you've enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from you all. I don't mind criticism. So if you, you think that I should do something a certain way and I have done it differently, please let me know. I'm open to all suggestions and I will see you next time. Bye for now.